G'day folks, Tom here, and today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how you can set up a team of assistants within SynFlow. It's one super powerful feature which most people are currently ignoring, but if you can set it up, then you can have a whole army of assistants working on different things for your business project or whatever it is you're doing. So once you're inside SynFlow, you're going to see this screen on the assistants tab, and at the top here, you've got assistants and you've got teams. For this use case, we're going to create three assistants or we've created three assistants which can combine together to create a team of assistants working on behalf of a fictitious car dealership called auto drive so we have one the receptionist which is here two the new car sales guy and three the rentals girl called kate kate sam and amy call is going to go into amy if somebody wants to speak about new car sales they're going to go to sam they want to speak out rentals, they're going to go to Kate. Now, the reason why this is important is because you don't want to have one assistant to handle everything. You don't want to have a bunch of context, infinite knowledge bases, loads of different custom actions, because that makes it super easy for your assistant to go off track. What you want to do is create the how business usually works. You have a receptionist and they route the call to the right person who knows specifically about their job. So. Once you're in your assistance tab, we're going to go here and click the teams button and we're going to go over here and create, create an assistant team. I'm going to call this assistant team auto drive. It's the name of our fictitious car company. Next, once you're in this screen, we're going to want to select our receptionist, which is Amy. This is like our lead assistant. This is who the calls are going to go to first. And then they're going to get rooted off after that. Next, we're going to choose our two sub assistants, which is Kate and it's going to be Sam. So once you click on your first assistant, you're going to get this pop up box. And this is how you configure your call transfer. If you want to get into the nitty gritty of how this works, you can go over the guidelines, which shows you how to set this up properly using the word user instead of caller. Select the nouns that accurately represent the context and entities involved. Reference the assistant leader. So in the prompt, they should know who their leader is, so the receptionist in this case. And this creates a clear hierarchy and chain of command. Each sub-assistant should have a unique role that does not overlap with the main assistant, clearly define the boundaries of scope, and the team leader should be able to delegate tasks based on their specific roles. Okay, I think we've got it. So the call cool transfer settings are such. Change to Kate when there is interest in buying a new car. In this case, when there's interest in renting or leasing a car by saying, let me transfer you into Kate who handles our rentals and leasing. division. Now we're going to set a transfer delay. We're going to set it to two seconds. That's probably what's in the real world and then press save changes. So now we have Kate highlighted in pink. We're going to do the same to Sam. When there's in buying a new car. Yep. By saying let me Sam, who handles this for us. Cool. Again, delay of two seconds and save changes. Now, once you've got this, you've got a lead assistant and two sub assistants, you're going to press save. Voila. You now have a team of assistants that can work together to complete the tasks. This is the high level. If you actually want to look at the prompts that I've created for these people, click into an assistant. I'm going to go to the prompt as usual. And you can see the script here. We have the background information. You are a receptionist at Autodrive Motors and the usual good stuff, the company information, the call handling instructions, the categorizing the inquiry and the directions for the call. But the most important bit in this prompt is how you categorize the inquiry. So you want to request a brief description of the reason for the person's call for the assistant to know where to route the call. 
So instructions, based on the caller's description, categorize the inquiry into one of the following areas. New vehicle sales, used vehicle sales, but then rentals and leasing down here. Okay. If you have a look at our next assistant, we have Kate for the rentals, the same for the prompt. You're Kate, the AI assistant specializing in vehicle rentals and leasing at Auto Drive Rentals and Leasing. Again, custom instructions for this to handle the details for the customer, but specific to renting and leasing the car. So you want to get all of the information. If you want to go a bit deeper on this, you can do the live interaction, the post call extraction, which pulls out the information and puts it where you want it. But that's for another video. And then finally, we have Sam, the new car sales guy. We have the prompt again, new vehicle sales handling instructions, what type of car you're looking for and the base prompt. You are Sam, the sales assistant specializing in new vehicle sales or to drive motors. Okay. So call goes in to the lead assistant and gets transferred to one of these. One thing to notice, you can see two assistants are hidden in the teams because once you assign a lead assistant to a team, you cannot use it for anything else. So we hide it. If you want to see it, you can go in here. Auto drive now has these three assistants assigned and then we can open it up and see how they're handled there. If you wanted to add another assistant to your flow, you can add it here, but let's give this a try and see how it goes. Okay, we have a call. Hello, Auto Drive. Amy speaking. How can I help you today? Um, yeah, I wonder if you can help me actually. I'm looking potentially at renting or leasing a car. I'm not sure if you guys do that. Let me transfer you to Kate, who handles our rentals and leasing division. Thanks. You're through to Auto Drive Rentals and Leasing. Kate speaking. How can I help you today? Hi Kate, I uh, wonder if you can help me. I'm looking to rent or potentially lease a car. Can you just give me a bit of a, a rundown on how you guys operate and potentially what cars you have available? Absolutely, I'd be happy to help you with that. To start off, could you tell me your name and if you've rented or leased with us before? Uh, yeah, my name's Tom and I haven't rented or leased with you before. Nice to meet you, Tom. Since you're new to auto drive, I'll walk you through the basics. Are you leaning more towards a short term rental or are you interested in exploring our leasing programs for something longer term? Uh, actually, um, I wondered if I could speak to somebody about potentially buying a new car. Would that be possible? Let me transfer you to Sam who handles this for us. Of course, Tom. I can assist you with information on purchasing a new vehicle. What type of car are you interested in? Maybe a sedan, SUV, or truck? And do you have any specific brands or models in mind? Hmm, good question. What models do you have available, Sam? Good to meet you. Sure thing, Tom. We have a wide range of models available, from sedans to SUVs, and trucks across various brands. To narrow it down, could you tell me what your top priorities are in a new vehicle, like fuel efficiency, Safety features or maybe uh, actually Sam I've just got another call coming through um, I'll call you back thanks no worries, Tom. okay so that was a simple call transfer um, working with three independent assistants we called into the receptionist we got routed for renting and leasing and then we got put through to buying a car there's obviously tweaks you can do to the prompt to make everything sound completely normal with natural language etc and you can tweak with introductions but that is a high level on how assistant teams work within SynthFlow so you can create an entire business of assistants who all have specific jobs and linked into different databases and knowledge bases and all that good stuff so hope you enjoyed this tutorial let me know what you build with uh, teams and see you on the next one bye